Watch the real-life programme about exceptional destinies, remarkable opportunities and unbelievable facts right now. You'll hardly be able to find another similar yard like this one located in an Almaty suburb in the city. A shed is used as a studio. There are no unnecessary things here. Even old lids can be used as ears, rakes as mane and crutches as legs. He's called Great Ecologist. The works he makes of garbage are sold at Sotheby's auctions and contained in museums of Kazakhstan, Turkey and the USA. Georgi Trakin Bukharov will tell us about matter transformation. Ecology of Soul Chinese gymnastics and life after life. Can beauty save the world? A knight on a horse greets the artist. The last time the Iron Horseman left this yard was three years ago when it was taken to the exhibition. This huge work was created by the artist's imagination and hands. The author himself doesn't know how many parts it has. He used only a scrape iron to make it. It seems there is a lot of this material around here. Is it really a storehouse? I used to have a pallet here and there were piles of materials. There is rock, wood and paper. The gray-haired man has been playing this game for over 70 years. He doesn't lack materials. All he needs is imagination and health. I'll show it to you now and you'll remember. You inhale through your nose and then put your arms down slowly. Can you feel the circulation of sea energy? His eyes keep glittering. He says that the exercise he does in the morning tune his body to the correct perception of the world. His secret is a special outlook on the pictures of life. I've been drawing since childhood. I see a panorama of the city instead of a piece of a newspaper. If you use traditional materials such as stones or wood, you've got a wide range of things you can work with, up to 10 or even more. So you choose what you're interested in and start creating gradually. He didn't receive fundamental education. According to him, this fact killed an ordinary artist in him. As a result, he became an unusual one. He's been attracted to art since childhood. My mother had a pot of paints, so I went to the cellar and smelled them. I liked it so much. The artist calls the process of creating a work in order of time. It's an artist's reaction to events. He hears and sees something, and then an image appears. It's like in childhood. Do you remember the rocking horses? The neck is Vienna chairs, traps are used instead of stirrups, and the head is a petrol tank. It's illuminated inside. This Mustang has been to many cities of Russia and even galloped to Singapore in 2013. It was in Astana when City Day was celebrated too. A lot of critics tried to find the answer too. What did the artist want to say? It's a kinetic sculpture which knocks when rocking slightly. I had a camel too, but it's in Italy now. It has a few functions. A globe spins inside of it. There are two humps made of magazines and newspapers, and ropes are tightened around them. It has flashing lights on its head. If you press a button, it spits on the world map. An art historian gave the following explanation about it in the review. She wrote that this camel didn't like anything, which is why it was spitting. 
The artist says that of course the art historian knows more. As for himself, he didn't even think about such an interpretation. Animals are the artist's favorite theme. There's a bristled brush, seat, and bicycle handlebar. First, a bull appeared. Well, this is a bull's head and neck is attached to it. And I just looked at it, noticed table legs, and immediately imagined it. My neighbor gave me this table and I always wanted it to be white. I also thought it could have two heads, a white head and a blue or black one. So it's a two-headed horse with a globe between its heads. Decorating the world with sculptures made of rubbish is a global trend. At the same time, it attracts attention to the problem of rubbish threatening humanity. Scientists calculated that over one and a half trillion tons of household solid waste accumulates on our planet annually. This amount keeps increasing every year. A rubbish dump or flea markets are real treasures for track and Bukharov artists. There you can find old chairs, crutches, balls and saucepans. Some people may not need them, but these are materials for Georgi's works. Neighbors often provide him with similar things. Sometimes you go and notice that there's something near the gate. Once I didn't even realize that deadhead wood was brought to me. It's a very valuable material. I have petrified wood too. I always considered using it as hair without ruining its structure, which contained deposition of salt. I had an idea of making a chariot. This millstone is a wheel. I thought one wheel would be with spokes and the other would be a stone wheel. It's like a transition from the Stone Age to the Iron Age. He doesn't like throwing anything away because any moment he can realize he needs something but won't have the needed detail for his work. Once I prepared traffic signs. One of them was round and the other triangular. They were large and three-dimensional. I'd already imagined a torso, a woman's torso. I only had to find a square one when these two traffic signs were stolen. As a result, I couldn't produce that work. However, he produced others. The artist's workshop is like a resuscitation unit. There's a hammer, chisel, and whetstone. All things are given a new life here and turn into exhibits. He made more than 1,000 things during the period of over 40 years. Bright collages on the walls. The artist explains that they appear when he yearns for colors. This is a coat of arms on the wall, but it hasn't been finished. Spades, especially rusty ones, are Trakin's favorite poetic material. They aren't used any longer. One of them hangs on the wall. Its upper part is from the Soviet epoch. The others are in a row. They have eyes framed by barbed wire. There are a lot of variants which are thought-provoking. The most important is to have a clear head. Healing practices help him. Well, I've discovered this myself. I read that if a person stands on one leg, they won't have a stroke. It's from Sigun. It's 
Qigong is an ancient Chinese art of body self-regulation, healing systems having 1,000-year history and basis of martial arts. Breath, movement, and inner harmony help to accumulate qi life energy. Old globes, old newspapers, and Soviet symbols assume a new form in his hands. They had a magic influence on foreigners. He says that a lot, a lot of his works were brought to the USA from exhibitions. As for him, he was never going to go abroad. He says that all artists are different. For example, European artists can create their works right near a rubbish dump. And they send these works to museums and sell them there. The liable to decay is turned into the imperishable and re-examined. There's rust, chips and cracks. It's what the material says. According to the author, it wears out but gains experience and becomes firm. For example, in this way, old irons start a new life like this one on the head of the pig. Probably I bought them at the market or they belonged to my mother. This was her small mortar. This cauldron was hers too. I mean this small cauldron. I don't know where these bearings are from. I probably use some saucepan handles to make its eyebrows. The next one is Nuf Nuf. It's huge. The one of the three characters of a fairy tale meets the best traditions of Soviet enameled plumbing equipment. The artist says who ordered the three piglets in the 1990s and how the fairy tale about the three piglets became the manifesto of that period. I wanted the creation of the three piglets to be timed to coincide with the mass demolition. I was told to make a wolf developer too. So I started trying to do this work and realized that I should do it in an unusual way. The artist says that this plan was not developed for a long time. Everything changed when he was going past dustbins and noticed a chair. It was an unusual chair from a beauty salon. It was modern and light. I recalled that my daughter had a white enameled bath too. Then I could imagine the details. I was going to place it vertically. I already had sinks and decided to attach a toilet bowl to the opposite side. The ears are from a washing machine. The eyes are globes and I inserted them too. The eyelids and eyelashes are part of headlights. His brother Nafnaf -Naf, is connected with a new level of technological process. Its head is a computer. However, the artist still doesn't have time to finish the work on the body. I'll use a crankshaft to make Nafnaf -Naf bore and use this to make its muzzle. A petrol tank, cars and dolls were part of a composition emphasizing inevitable dependence on energy resources. It was located in the area of Almaty Arbat. Mankar or Carmen. beauty should save the world. Such installations as Genocide, Golden Ratio, Tower and many others were sold abroad. His works were featured on 20 exhibitions in Kazakhstan, Germany, Switzerland, Russia, India and Singapore. I showed the sky and the rising of the moon. Yes, it's important. It's like legs, arms, and then there's also the moon. Here you are. He shows how to hold the moon and sky in your hands. It's much more difficult to live on the money provided by his enthusiasm. He's an unusual person. Probably such people like him keep the globe turning. When a real artist enjoys the benefits of civilization, 
They always show how large the distance between a person and nature has become.